The pandemic ground life to a halt in 2020. With the world returning to normal comes the return of going home for the holidays. But what happens when there doesn't feel like a home or a normal to return to? I think that there's a difference in people's maybe openness and defensiveness too. Um, but that's also because people are setting boundaries maybe that weren't set before. So I think uh, it could be a good growing point for us or it could be a really ch a big challenge. You know, for some people, the pandemic and political tension has done enough damage that will take years to, to heal, um, both you know, physical and psychological, emotional, mental health all. Thanksgiving and the holidays that follow are known at the time when we all come together over friendly bickering and tasty food. However, in a world where every little thing sparks rage, those days may be something of the past for some people. For those who don't want to go home, there's a big hurdle to overcome. How to say no. Do you lie? Ghost? Say you've already made other plans? In a world where saying no to family is frowned upon, any of these answers may feel like betrayal. I like the idea and promote the idea of just being honest if, a, if you're able. Um, we have other things that day or, you know, that's not going to work for us this year. Remember, regardless of whether or not you choose to go home this holiday season, Treating yourself and others with respect is more important than any temporarily hurt feelings. For News OSU, I'm Devin Schwetman.